So now that we have the code for us to be able to write to the database and that we have the class that is going to be defining what we're going to be writing to it, let's go ahead and write the code inside of an Android project for us to actually be able to insert to that database using the method that we just added to the PCL. So the first thing that we have to do is find the research.layout folder and open the main.axml file. Uh, you may see a default button in here, so make sure that you select it and delete it, delete it away. And we're going to be adding a couple of elements that we do need. We didn't need that button. We do need a text field. So let's just search for text and find in the text fields area the plain text option. Drag it and drop it and drag and drop it one more. One is going to be for the name of the book and one is going to be for the author of the book. And then let's search for a button and add it to the bottom, to the bottom of these two elements. The next thing that we have to do is set the ID for all of these three elements and change a couple of properties from them. So let's start by changing the ID from edit text one to title edit text and set the hint to be book title. Let's for the second one change the ID to be author edit text and set the hint to be author or let's just call it book author. And for the button, we need to change the ID to be safe button and change the text to be safe. And there we go, our UI is complete. Let's just move to mainactivity.cs. And by default, you may find a count in here, so make sure that you delete that and you will be able to see some code in here using a my button that is no longer there. So you can make sure to delete that as well, just like we've been doing it so far on the rest of the Android projects. And make sure that you define a couple of edit text. One is going to be title edit text. We're also going to have an author edit text. And we're going to be needing a button that is going to be called save button. There we go. And then inside of the on create, we need to call title edit text equal to find view by ID, the find view by ID of type edit text. And we're going to be doing resource dot ID dot title edit text. And we're going to do the same thing for the author edit text. Find view by ID. This is going to be edit text as well. Resource dot ID dot author edit text. And for the save button, which is going to be equal to find view by ID of type button and we're going to find in resource.id dot save button. There we go. And then from the save button, we need to call the click event handler and create a new method. That now for some reason I haven't been able to create the event handler automatically, but I can write it down. So I will just add private void, I need to call this method the exact same way as we have in here. And we we're going to have an object sender and an event args args. Uh, you may need to add the system namespace to be able to use event arguments in here. Uh, but now we have this event handler ready. I don't know why it didn't happen for me. For you, it probably is okay. Maybe it's just something about my installation or I don't know. But we have in here uh, already the method that we're going to be calling when the button, the save button is clicked. And from here we want to save using the method that we have in the class that is called database helper. So we need a couple of things. First, we need to create the book that is going to be inserted. You see that to call the insert method, we need to pass some data that is going to be the book. But we also need to pass the DB path for where the database, the file for the database is actually going to be stored in the device. So let's start by that. I am going to define a string that is going to be DB name. And th this is just going to be the name for the database file. And this is going to be simply 
books underscore db dot light. Uh, I'm also going to be needing, uh, let me just write this down correctly, for the folder path where the database is going to be stored. For this, we're actually going to be needing to use environment. But notice that there is an environment which namespace is java.lang.object, not that namespace. There is another one uh, that is the environment class. Notice that we have a couple of this in here. And this environment class is actually in the system.io namespace. So make sure that you just use that environment. So uh, let me just write this down, environment. But we have to establish that the environment that we want has a get folder path. And we can see it's not right here because we have to set which environment are, are we going to be using. So I am just going to establish that I am going to be using the system dot environment namespace. So that we have it, we can use get the get folder path method, which is going to be requiring a special folder path. And the special folder that we're looking for is the personal folder. So there we have it, folder path now has the path for this personal folder which is where we are going to be storing this database. So finally, I can get the entire DB path by using path.combine and combine the folder path with the DB name. Again, to be able to use the path uh, class, you will be needing to add this using statement to system.io. Uh, okay, so actually what I have to pass here is DB name. I made a mistake there. So there we have it. Now, the next thing that we have to do is create the book that we're going to be inserting. So let's just create a new book. To be able to use the book class, you have to add a using statement to SQLite, whatever the name of your project is, dot classes, which is the folder where at least I added the class. And you can see that is the entire namespace for the class that I have in here. I am going to call the object new book and it's going to be equal to a new book that at the beginning is going to have its author set to whatever is in the author edit text dot text and its name to whatever is in the title edit text dot text. So we now have both of the things that we need to be able to call this insert method. So let's go ahead and use database helper in here and call the insert method which first requests the data, but notice that we have to add a reference object. It's not just passing the, the, the argument, but actually adding the ref uh, before the name of the object. So let's just add ref new book, book, and then we can just pass the db path. And notice that even when I have this T in here, I am not setting it that there's no error in here. I, I mean, I could write down book in here just uh, to specify this a little bit better and to match the signature of the method. But the method, or actually the compiler, is smart enough to know that the type of this method has to be the type of this reference object. So I can actually just delete this and the compiler is going to assume its type from the reference object that I'm passing in here. Now, just to make use of the fact that this method returns a Boolean, let's just evaluate if what this is returning is true and write console.writeLine and let's just make this uh, in capital case success. Um, else, we'll just write down console dot write line and we're going to write failure. So just to make sure that everything is working correctly. So now that we have this, uh, let me just run this on my simulator and we're going to be needing to see the results on the document uh, of the, on the console. So let me just start running this on the simulator and let me show it to you. So we know that this is working correctly. I'm waiting and stalling and you don't have to wait. So here it is ready. It's launching. Let's just write here, start with Y, uh, Y, whatever. And Simon Sinek in here, by the way, I recommend this book if you are an, an entrepreneur or anything. 
uh, and we're going to click on save and of course nothing happens uh, because we didn't set any code to send an alert or display another page but we do know that we added something to the console so let me just go ahead and show you the application output and we have somewhere in here tiny little success text so this means that we were successful when adding a new element to the database and we actually can continue on the next video to do the same thing on iOS.